When the cast and crew of Marvel's newest Disney Plus series, Agatha All Along, started off their promotional tour by touting how gay their show was, that it's the gayest Marvel project ever, and how exciting that is, it really gave people flashbacks to months earlier when The Acolyte was promoted in a similar way. And of course, we know what happened with The Acolyte, and it ended up being a ratings nightmare, a disaster, and ended up getting canceled after only one season. But the question remained, how would Agatha do? How would the newest MCU project on Disney Plus, how would that fare in the ratings department? And unfortunately for Marvel, we now have that answer. A lot of people were puzzled as to why Marvel didn't immediately reveal kind of the first long weekend's viewership numbers like they normally would, like they have been for projects over the past year or so, whether that's Ahsoka, whether that's Loki Season 2, whether that's uh, something like Percy Jackson. All of these series, for the most part, they come out after the first full weekend of release, whether it's a long weekend starting on a Wednesday, Thursday, whatever it may be. And they say, hey, we're so proud to announce and get this many global views. Well, for Agatha, they waited an entire week. I wonder why. Maybe it's because they knew if they would have just released the first five days, it would have been even more embarrassing than this. Agatha all along hits 9.3 million views in one week. On Disney Plus, they have never given a number taken over that long amount of time before. That's the first time we've ever had that. And uh, I think the reason, quite frankly, is because these numbers are very, very low for Disney and for Marvel. The first episode of Agatha All Along hit 9.3 million views on Disney Plus in its first seven days of streaming. A spinoff of the 2021 Marvel limited series WandaVision, the series premiered on September 18th. Disney defines a view as the total amount of time watched divided by runtime. Therefore, the episode was watched for an approximate total of 9.3 million hours when multiplying views by runtime. And if you just look at that number, 9.3 million views on one week, we have some other comparisons we can look at. Something like the average. Acolyte. Remember the Acolyte, the Disney Star Wars failure that just occurred? Well, that had more viewers on its premiere in just five days. 11.1 million views in five days for something like the Acolyte. So as you can see, very abysmal and embarrassing ratings for Agatha all along right off the bat. Now, certainly, context does matter. The Acolyte, as we now found out, cost over $200 million to make. What does Agatha all along cost? I don't know if we've seen any budget estimates out there for it as of yet, but something like Secret Invasion and She-Hulk, those things cost an insane amount of money, over $200 million for those Marvel projects as well. So, if this is on a similar scope to that, then yes, this is catastrophically bad for them. The media would go on to try to try to ease the pain and make some comparisons. The opium of Agatha all along appears to be roughly on par with that of Percy Jackson and the Olympians with 13.3 million views in six days. How is that roughly on par? How is that roughly on par to have one less day of viewership and around, what, 40% less viewers? That's roughly on par to you. And The Acolyte with 11.1 million views in five days. I wouldn't even say that's necessarily on par either. It's a little bit closer, I suppose, but certainly still significantly less viewers than something like The Acolyte. However, Agatha is definitively behind Ahsoka, 14 million views in five days. Yes, this is, this is disappointing and really terrible for them. And there are some people who have no idea how to interpret these things. I saw this floating around. Agatha all along destroys the penguin with 9.3 million views in its debut from Cine House, whatever this is. The first episode of Agatha all along got 9.3 million views. That's almost double what Penguin brought in, 5.3. No, you, you people are absolutely fucking stupid. The Penguin number is for four days, not a full week. And it's also just U.S. numbers. And this is what I've been trying to tell people and why they, they don't understand how to interpret this stuff. So Den of Nerds asked this question, how can Agatha not be a hit but Penguin is? Context matters. Agatha's 9 million views in five days is a worldwide number. Penguin's 5 million views in just four days is just a U.S. number. Also, you can factor in that HBO Max have a combined sub of count of around 100 million and Disney Plus has over 150 million. So a lot more people could have gotten eyes on something like Agatha all along rather than the Penguin. But it really does not matter. The mainstream media will try to spin things just like they tried to spin things for the Acolyte. That didn't work out for them. 
Agatha, a lot depends on what the budget of this thing is. Is this if this is something with a limited budget of, you know, 40, 50 million dollars for the season, then yeah, it's not nearly as disastrous as something like The Acolyte. But if it's anywhere on par with some of these other MCU Marvel series with its budget, then yeah, this is a complete and total shit show for them. And if I had to make a guess, I'd say with about 90% certainty, it's much closer to that $200 million range because we haven't seen anything from Marvel with a low, low budget like we would be talking about to make this an actual success. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.